I'm using a landscape we made from the previous tutorial. Check it out, links in the description or the top right. First, we need some assets. I'm using two packs from the permanently free collection from the Unreal Marketplace. They are called Tropical Vegetation Ground Plants, Tropical Vegetation Pandanus Plants. I'm using these so everyone at home can follow along, but feel free to use your own. Once you have gotten the assets, add them to a 4.2x project. Anyone will do. We do this because we cannot directly import into Unreal Engine 5 as of yet. Open the content folder containing your 4.2x project. Copy the contents of those assets across to the Unreal Engine 5 project that you've created previously. Next, go to Edit, Editor Preferences, and make sure Procedural Foliage is ticked. Next, what I've done is docked my content drawer to make organizing files a bit easier. Then what I'm doing is creating a new folder and calling it procedural. And inside that folder, I'm creating three new folders, calling them ground, spawner, and trees. Go to the tree folder and create a foliage type of static mesh foliage. Then name it something along the lines of tree01. And after that, copy it and paste it so you have five instances of it. Then uh, open up each of the five instances so you can see them on the screen and jump over to your asset folder. The file path is pn underscore pandanus meshes pandanus big and what we want to do from here is copy over each of the trees into the mesh property. You could use all seven if you want but I'm just using five here. Next we want to go back to our procedural folder and under the procedural folder we want to go to the ground folder and we want to create three uh, foliage static mesh again and then we want to open them up so we can see all three of them. Now going back to the asset folder this time under small we want to copy over all the assets into the mesh folder again the same way we did before. This time uh, we just also want to make sure under the collision heading we want to change the shade and collision radius to 10. This will group up these particular meshes in a particular way. Again, we want to go back to our ground folder and we want to create another three instances of the static mess foliage. And like before, we want to open each of those up. If you're following along, then you should be up to four, five and six. Then we want to jump into the pn underscore tropical ground plants folder and under the mesh folder there, there is three assets called tropical ground plant 04, uh, 1, 2 and 3. Just drag them over into the mesh attribute again and don't forget shade and collision radius is set to 10. Then under the spawner folder, right click and go to foliage and go to procedural foliage spawner. And in there you can create uh, two of those, one called ground underscore scatter and one called tree underscore scatter. Open up tree underscore scatter and create eight array elements. Once you've created those, you can drag in the static mesh foliages that we created in the previous steps. Uh, in this one, I'm doing the five trees and the three green plants. In the next one under ground underscore scatter, I am creating three elements, array elements, and in those, I'm going to add in the three yellow ground plants. Set the number of unique tiles to 30 and don't forget to save. Okay, now we can start actually generating the forest. Change your view to a top, top down view like this and uh, drag over the tree underscore scatter onto the landscape. And what you wanna do is change your brush shape from a box to a cylinder and change the radius to about 7,500 and increase the number of size to about 24. Then on the location transformation, you want to change that on the z-axis to about 100. You can then hit the re-simulate button and that will generate the forest. Then do the exactly the same thing around underscore scatter except make the radius slightly bigger at 8000. Press play and you're done. You can now run around your tropical forest, enjoy the scenery, eat some bananas and coconuts. Bonus tip time, go to create volumes and find the procedural foliage blocking volume and place it onto your landscape. You can use this to create pathways and whatnot. And as always, please like, subscribe and check the bell notification and I'll see you next time.